Are you facing lag, stutters, or FPS drops while playing Battlefield 6 Season 1? Don't worry. In this video, I'll show you simple and effective fixes to improve performance, reduce lag, and boost FPS on your PC, so you can enjoy smooth gameplay without interruptions. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Alright, first thing, we need to make sure your PC is actually allowed to use full power. Sometimes Windows automatically limits performance to save energy, which can cause your GPU not to boost properly. Go to your start menu and type power plan. Click choose a power plan and select high performance. If you see an option for ultimate performance, select that one. It's even better for gaming. After that, open settings, system, power and battery, and double check that power mode is set to best performance. This helps both your CPU and GPU run at their maximum potential instead of being throttled. Now let's take care of background tasks because even a few apps running quietly can overload your CPU. Press control plus shift plus escape to open the task manager. Go to the processes tab and sort by CPU usage. You'll probably see things like Chrome, Discord, Steam Overlay, or background recorders. Right click and end task on the ones you don't need while gaming. Next, go to the startup tab and disable unnecessary programs from starting up automatically with Windows. And also open settings arrow, privacy and security arrow, background apps, and turn off apps that you don't want running all the time. By doing this, you're freeing up CPU. GPU threads, which allows Battlefield 6 to get more resources, helping your GPU usage climb up to where it should be. Now it's time for the most powerful part of this guide, my Battlefield 6 FPS Optimization Pack. You'll find the download link in the video description below. Once you open the pack, you'll see several folders inside, including Battlefield 6 High Priority, Basic Windows Optimization, and a few more important ones. First, open the Battlefield 6 High Priority folder and run the tweak according to your preference. This will make your game run with higher process priority, helping it use your system resources more efficiently. Next, open the Basic Windows Optimization folder. Run all the tweaks one by one. These will clean up unnecessary background animations and disable useless visual effects that consume system memory for no real reason. This step helps free up some RAM and overall system resources, giving you a small but noticeable boost in smoothness. After that, open the CPU Priority folder. If you're using an AMD Ryzen processor, open the AMD folder. If you're on Intel, open the Intel folder instead. Run the appropriate registry file for your CPU. This tweak changes how Windows schedules CPU resources, giving Battlefield 6 a higher priority over other background tasks. It helps improve frame pacing, reduce stutters, and make gameplay feel smoother overall. Once that's done, clean up your temporary files. This will delete unnecessary junk files from your PC, free up storage space, and slightly improve overall performance. Next, open the RAM optimization folder. You'll find registry files for different RAM setups. 8 gig gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes. Run the one that matches your system's RAM size. This tweak optimizes how Windows manages memory, helping reduce micro stutters and improving overall consistency during gameplay. Finally, install Park Control from the folder. Once installed, open it and disable both core parking and frequency scaling. This ensures all your CPU cores remain active at full speed, preventing Battlefield 6 from slowing down due to inactive or parked cores. By following all these steps carefully, your system will will be fully optimized for Battlefield 6, giving you smoother performance, higher FPS, and a more stable gaming experience. Now, after instilling Optimization Pack, now, this one's a big deal. If your GPU drivers are outdated or corrupted, it can directly cause low GPU usage. For NVIDIA users, open GeForce Experience, go to the Drivers tab, and click Check for Updates. Always use the Express or Custom Clean Install option. For AMD users, open AMD Adrenaline Software. Go to the Updates section and install the latest version. If the issue still persists, do a clean reinstall using a free tool called DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. This completely removes old, broken driver files that might be causing your GPU to underperform, and then reinstall the graphics drivers. All right, now let's move on to the most important part, the in-game settings. This is where most people go wrong, because Battlefield 6 has a ton of options that can easily overload your CPU while keeping your GPU half asleep. So we're going to fix that by manually tuning the graphics settings to make the game run smoother and push more load onto the GPU instead of the CPU. First, in the graphics settings, scroll down to performance preset and set it to performance. This gives you a balanced starting point and ensures no ultra heavy settings are enabled. Now go to field of view, FOV. You can set this based on your personal preference. A wider FOV looks better for visibility, but keep in mind that a higher FOV slightly increases CPU and GPU load because it has to render more of the world at once. So if you're facing heavy stuttering, lowering the 
FOV just a bit can help with performance. After that, make sure to turn off all motion blur options, including world motion blur, weapon motion blur, and depth of field. These effects look cinematic, but feel really junky during gameplay, and can cause extra CPU processing for visual smoothing. Also, disable chromatic aberration, vignette, film grain. These three add that movie-like filter, but they consume VRAM and post-processing power, which affects GPU performance and slightly increases CPU draw calls. Turning them off gives a sharper, cleaner image and improves responsiveness. Now, under the graphics quality section, change the preset to custom because we'll manually adjust each setting for the perfect CPU-GPU balance. Textures are mostly GPU-bound, but if you have limited VRAM or a mid-range GPU, keeping them low avoids texture streaming issues. This helps prevent stutters and reduces CPU overhead for asset loading. Unlike texture quality, texture filtering doesn't use much VRAM or CPU power. Setting it to high gives sharper visuals with minimal performance cost, so it's basically free visual quality. Mesh quality determines how deep detailed objects and players look at a distance. Setting it to high actually helps balance the GPU usage, because it gives your GPU more geometry work to do, instead of overloading the CPU with simplified meshes. This can slightly increase GPU usage and smooth out performance. Terrain rendering affects both CPU and GPU. Medium keeps enough detail for natural-looking landscapes, but avoids the extra CPU calculations that come with high or ultra. This setting directly helps reduce CPU bottleneck. This controls grass and small environmental details. Medium gives a decent visual look without overloading the CPU with too many small animated assets. Effects like explosions, debris, and smoke are extremely CPU-intensive in Battlefield titles. Setting this to low significantly reduces the amount of physics calculations the CPU has to handle during intense combat scenes. You'll notice fewer frame drops during firefights. Volumetric effects, such as fog, dust, and god rays, are heavy on both CPU and GPU. Keeping this low reduces unnecessary draw calls and post-process load. Lighting is mostly handled by the GPU, but dynamic lights often involve CPU CPU coordination. Setting this low minimizes that extra CPU work, while keeping GPU usage more stable. Shadows in Battlefield 6 are some of the heaviest performance killers. They constantly update and require both CPU and GPU calculations. Set this to low to drastically reduce CPU load and improve frame times. Same logic here. Real-time sun shadows can cause constant CPU updates as the lighting changes. Low minimizes this while keeping basic shadow detail. Set shadow filtering to PCF, percentage closer filtering. It's less demanding and provides softer shadows without too much GPU cost. Reflections are GPU heavy, but also use CPU cycles for environment calculations. Keep this low to maintain smoother gameplay and avoid FPS dips near reflective surfaces. Screen space reflections off. Disable this completely. It looks nice, but it's one of the biggest reasons for inconsistent GPU usage and micro stutters. Turning it off gives a noticeable FPS boost. Post-processing includes bloom, tone mapping, and color effects, all of which add GPU load and sometimes cause extra CPU work. Set this to low to reduce latency and stabilize performance. Screen space ambient occlusion and global illumination off. These two settings affect how shadows and light interact with the environment. They look great but are extremely CPU intensive. Turning both off helps eliminate CPU bottlenecks and keeps GPU usage consistent. High fidelity objects amount low. This determines how many complex objects are loaded at once. Set it to low to reduce CPU draw calls especially in crowded areas or large multiplayer maps. After applying these changes, restart the game once so that all settings reinitialize properly. When you hop into a match, check your usage stats. Your GPU should now sit much higher, usually around 90 to 99%, while your CPU should drop to a healthier range. You'll also notice fewer stutters and a more stable frame rate across the board. And that's it for today's video. After applying all these settings and optimizations, your low GPU usage and high CPU usage issues in Battlefield 6 should be completely fixed. You'll definitely notice smoother gameplay, higher FPS, and a much more stable performance overall. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like. It really helps the channel a lot. And don't forget to subscribe with the bell icon turned on so you never miss future guides and performance fix videos like this one. Also, if you're still facing any issues, feel free to comment below, and I'll try my best to help you out personally. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.